Hi guys, it's Lillian again. Lillian from Kenya to Montana, USA. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you are new here, welcome. Please keep sharing, keep commenting, keep liking. Let's engage in the on my page on my YouTube channel. Uh, let's communicate. Uh, if you want, you have any private question, come to Messenger. That is, you have to look for my page on Facebook. That is Lillian from Kenya to Montana, USA. And then you'll find me on Messenger. I, I always, most of the time, I'll answer your, we talk, we chat on the, message, on the Messenger. So guys, I'm so glad I, I told you my dad was sick, so I had to travel to Kenya. Kenya is in Africa. You know, uh, somebody asked me where Kenya is. In fact, she was thinking Kenya is in Asia. I've always told you that, but yeah, Kenya is in Africa. Of course, I'm, a, uh, I'm an African. I'm black. Not all blacks, not all blacks are Africans. But anyway, anywho, we move. So guys, uh, I'm glad. And my main aim here, my main objective is just to shout out. Um, I, I appreciate all the those people who have been supporting to me, uh, my friends, both here in the everywhere. It's like all over the world. I got friends everywhere. I got fans. I got messages. People want to find out how my dad was doing, how I was doing, and. That's why I'm here today. So, guys, I just want to let you know that my dad is doing good. Um, for those who don't know, he was uh, he has been in he was in coma for like two weeks, and then slowly he came out, and he's now on best care, home best care, and we are doing good. So. I want to appreciate the hospital, um, Avenue Hospital Kisumu, please. I'm so happy. I'm so glad. Feel appreciated for all the work you did, all the doctors, uh, all the nurses, patient attendants, physiotherapists, um, occupational therapists, nutritionists, everybody, uh, the hygiene staffs, the security, those who prepared meals, we appreciate as a family, we appreciate you. You kept my dad alive. I know it's God, but we didn't go, like we didn't just stay at home and waited for God to heal him, but we went to Avenue and their services, they worked, they worked all around the clock to keep my dad alive. And he is here. Yeah from a GCS of six or seven, and we are talking of, he's still alive and we are doing good. So Avenue Hospital, I love all of you. We appreciate, oh, there is one department I didn't mention, finance. Of course, finance, um, feel appreciated. You guys, you know how to like um, communication, you are top on it and I felt at ease when I was there. I was not there like for, I was there for two days, Sunday and Monday. And I felt it was a good place. I felt uh, welcome and the care was good from the ICU to the general ward. The care was awesome. We don't have any complaint. So guys um, who are working at Avenue, Hostel Kisumu, you are the best. If you meet anybody working at healthcare, uh, I mean, working in Avenue Hospital Kisumu, just pat on the back and say, Lillian said, thank you. Lillian and the family said, thank you. A big thank you. Uh, we also have my friends all over. People came through, people came through uh, with prayers. We got so many prayers. People have been praying, people have been calling, and people even went ahead for financial support. Um, thank you so much for those who came through. People are still coming through. We getting When I open my phone, I just go through the messages and I find some good vibes. I find prayers there, I find songs, and we are so glad. We are happy to have such a good family. 
uh, we are happy to have people who care. We are happy to be surrounded by people who who really want good for us. And uh, one more thing I would say is um, thank you, a uh, big thank you to the community where we come from. I come from a a very big family. That means a very huge community. Of course, that is how Africans we are. We live as a very big community, and that's why I'm saying Avenue is the best because they manage to control us. We are so many, but they manage to control. I know it's a hard time. We could have given you, we, maybe we gave you a hard time, but you knew how to control the situation. And especially when you are in that process, when you are told that your loved one is you know so you get you go through a process where in that process there is where you get anger you become angry you start you know fighting or doing what exchanging words you are just you know these guys would bring you down and then you communicate at a better level i i feel uh, you guys feel much appreciated you are the best you are the best in kenya you are the best in the world so i love avenue hospital so um i was talking about the community a huge community those people were coming through uh they wanted to see to visit dad and you know there were restrictions because you know it's the health the health will come first but uh you just understand that we appreciate everything and we appreciate your visits. We know you have good, um, you, wa you want to, like, you just want to give good vibes. Um, but, you know, it's a hospital thing, it's health thing. So thank you. We say thank you. We understand. You understand. Everybody understands. So let's keep praying for dad. Um, he's still sick, but he's at home. But we are doing good okay um so guys I, I i will be here with another video on um people have been asking me since i came i came yesterday at night how is how is um how is the care at the airport yes i will bring all that my experience at the airport you know, we've, it's not it's not something that is uh, is a secret. We've been having this of late. We've had that challenge of care um, with uh, people traveling back home, and I'm going to bring that video tomorrow. So if you want to know about the experience, my experience with care, please join me here tomorrow. The next video, I mean. So guys, thank you so much and thank you for your love. See you in the next video. Bye.